yeah, it's been a while since we had a chance to catch up, and obviously uh, it's been a hell of a year to be in the airplane business, much less the LSA business, but here you are, a survivor. What's new in your world? Uh, well, we've got a lot of new things going on with the Torpedo, venerable design that it is. Um, we're introducing, uh, reintroducing the Continental O200. Of course, it was certified way back as a type certificate airplane with the O200, and uh, now we're bringing that back for the light sport market. That goes along with the Jabiru 120 horse, six cylinder, and four cylinder, 85 horse. Uh, we've done some creature comforts on the inside of the airplane. We've moved the seat backs back about three inches, so you get a little more room in the cockpit. Pit. Some of us uh, larger guys um, have a little more room uh, as they sit into the airplane and uh, it's changed the styling of the interior a little bit as well. Larger guys, I have no idea who you could be talking about. <laughs> Some of us do like to sit around the table a little more. There you go. Um, how's the new cowling working out? Oh, the new cowling's just wonderful. It, um, it looks slick. It, we love the way it complements the vintage lines of the aircraft, the very 40s lines. We've gotten some uh, things out of it we weren't expecting. We were hoping to reduce production time, which we did, but also it has really stabilized the temperatures in climb. With the old cowling, you needed to watch your EGTs and your oil temperature a little bit, but with this cowling, it just doesn't matter. You can climb it, um, hold it level, hold it, hang it on the prop, and the temperatures all stay real cold. Constant. That wasn't really a goal, but it was a side benefit that we got, and so, gosh, we'll take that. Uh, what are you doing these days with uh, instrumentation and cockpits? Uh, of course, we've always done the all-glass panels and the Dynons um, and the glass panels that are okay for IFR training. This airplane here is set up for um, flight school. It's got traditional gauges in it, set up as an IFR trainer, but all your typical analog gauges with a Garmin 430 and the CDI. What's the pricing structure right now going into 2010? Uh, for the 85 horse Jabiru, it's 85,000 for night VFR, and uh, the 120 horse six cylinder Jabiru is 95 for the same, and the O200 is 105. That's a pretty aggressive price uh, structure in regards to some of the stuff that's been out there starting in the 100 pluses and going from there. Well, we're made in America with controls on American labor and materials, and um, you know. And it's a tough economy, and you do what you got to do, and we are. What kind of market is this airplane developed for? Are you finding out that people are buying it for cruisers, or, or is it a trainer, or, or are we finding a good mix? Well, there is a mix, but clearly where it shines is in the training market. You know, it's a very robust airplane being designed in the 40s as a military trainer, primary trainer. That was its mission, and it continues to do that now. With the Oleo strut landing gear, you know, you stick to the runway, so it makes a good landing out of just about any landing. And the all-metal airframe absorbs the punishment that you get in a flight training environment. What's the future for this airframe from here on out? What, what do you envision? Well, I think uh, more of the same. We sure don't see changing the airframe any. There may be some cosmetic changes interior and perhaps in cowling, although there's nothing on the books right now for that. But uh, it works. So, you know, you find what works well and do more of it and, and find what doesn't work so well and do less of it. In other words, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. You got it. Scott, thanks. Aero TV is brought to you by. If you own a Cirrus today or if you are considering the purchase of a new or used aircraft, consider this. Avidyne, in conjunction with the country's leading Cirrus sales and maintenance facilities, has launched the G3R9 program that combines the purchase of a late model, low time Cirrus aircraft and the addition of the Avidyne Integra Release 9 avionics suite for much less than you may have thought, and certainly much less than purchasing a brand new aircraft. G3R9, combining the best airframe, best engine, and best avionics for the best value.